bringing you the best art tutorials on YouTube. So if you're an art lover, do consider subscribing this channel and don't miss any important updates about my tutorials just by clicking that bell icon. And in today's tutorial, we are going to do fluid painting on an MDF cutout piece to make this beautiful and colorful flamingo. This art piece is for decorative purpose and it can be made in so many different colors as many as you like. So friends, do watch the complete tutorial to make this colorful flamingo for yourself and do subscribe to Creative Art for more Creative Art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now let's quickly check out all the materials. For this DIY, first of all, we're going to need paint pouring medium and this is from Little Birdie. It is generally advised to use the same brand of pouring medium and colors if available. So here we have an entire range of acrylic pouring paint from Little Birdie. This time for Flamingo, I'm going to use some of the colors from this range. So here we have Plum Orch, Orch Mist, Pink Tango, Cherry Tomato, Pearl White and Pineapple Crush. Pour painting is entirely based on selection of your colors and techniques. So these are all the six different colors you can use for this flamingo base. And all these six colors can be used for a flamingo painting. For base, here I have a cutout piece of flamingo shape. And this is how it looks. It is available in two different sizes. Other than that, I'm going to use a few paper cups, few ice cream sticks, a flat hair paint brush and a box of a crushed glass of a rose petal shape. All these materials will be listed and linked in the description box below from where you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on entire purchase from Itsy Bitsy Craft Store. Now let's start the tutorial friends. First of all, we'll start by priming our base. For that, let's open this MDF board. This piece is the base and this piece is the cut out flamingo. Now using a flat hair brush and primer, start priming the MDF cut out piece. In the same way, prime the base piece also. Cover up all the sides with primer and then let them get dry for at least half an hour. Till that we can start mixing the pour paint. Now let's start preparing the pour paint. And for that here we have pouring medium from Little Birdie. And for paint we have acrylic pouring paint from Little Birdie. I'm going to use the same brand of pouring medium and pouring paint because that gives you the best results. So now friends first of all I will be adding one spoon of pouring medium in each cup. I'm going to use a 15 ml that is one tablespoon and then let's make it one more spoon in each cup. So now in all each cup contains two spoon of pouring medium. Now let's start pouring the colors. First I'm going to use white. Okay this much is enough. So pour one spoon of white. Next we need is pink. So again pour one spoon of pink. Each time use a different spoon to scoop out the paint out of the cup in this way. If you think the paint is a little thick, try to use a less amount of paint. Now using cherry red. Scoop out all the red. And finally now add some orchid mist color. We need to add this in a very little quantity because I'm going to make minimum use of this color. And now give a very nice mix 
to the entire mixture so both pouring medium as well as the color should get mixed up properly now the cherry red and finally the purple now in the same way I have mixed up all the colors and this is how they look make sure that each color have a little bit of fluidity and it should flow in this way now friends I'm going to add one by one color in this cup first of all I'm going to add some white just from one side add white I'll keep just a little bit for the last then I'm going to add a little bit of purple add a lot of pink then add a lot of red now again this is how it looks from the inside such a beautiful coloring now again I'm going to add purple from the same side pink keep some more pink for the ending then red it looks so beautiful when all the colors are stacking up on each other literally the cup looks so beautiful now this is the time I'm going to add some yellow you can see the yellow is a little thick finally the pink and now I'm going to add the final of white I'm going to keep just a little bit of white remaining and finally this is how full my cup looks I'm going to try my first attempt on this small base small piece first and I'm going to pour it start pouring it okay now in the same way I'm going to keep going on the flamingo let's start from here first what I see mostly is red but wait for it keep making these beautiful stripes and finally this is how beautiful beautiful our flamingo looks in all the flamingo colors wow i just absolutely love all the colors we have got on it just look how beautiful beautiful it looks and now we are going to do just a little bit of torching on the entire pouring part so all the bubbles will pop out okay everything went just fantastic i can see a light tint of yellow coming out from this part it's going to look fantastic when it's dry so now friends let's keep it to get dry for at least 28 to 48 hours let's see how thick the layers we got let it get dry and then i'll show you how does it looks okay now after two days our fluid art is completely dry and this is how beautiful beautiful our flamingo looks i have finally completed placing few crystals on the base part where we did some fluid art so that the base is heavy and this can stand and support the flamingo so now friends there's just one last part remaining that is to secure our fluid art and for that i'm going to use decor varnish the glossy one so now pour it in a palette like this and then using a flat hair brush start varnishing the fluid art you can also secure your fluid art by using a clear layer of a resin but doing a varnish is also a good idea the best thing would be to use a gloss varnish so that your fluid art gives a beautiful glossy glossy shine i personally recommend doing at least two to three layers of gloss varnish so that your fluid art may shine just like a resin coated fluid art the same i'm going to do for the base part also So now friends i will let the varnish get dry completely for at least four hours and then I repeat one more layer of varnish and then show you after 24 hours how does it look okay 
and now finally friends this is so beautiful and colorful our flamingo looks i absolutely love how the colors came on top combining with each other at the same time supporting and complementing each of them i love the middle part in which all the colors show themselves and the bottom you can see the white tip on the leg it just came by itself i also like the crystals we placed on the bottom which is actually providing a good support to the entire art piece and this type of art pieces friends can be used for decorative purpose it definitely definitely adds a pop up of color in any place you place it so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching